What's up y'all awesome people and welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you how to use world edit on any Minecraft versions whether it be on Java or Bedrock without installing anything like literally nothing so the way this world edit works is that it's incorporated as a natural feature of the game but it can kind of be a hassle especially if you don't know what you're doing or you don't really know anything about commands and now that I speak of it yes we're going to be using commands but I promise won't be as hard and complicated as what you would expect. And if you've already watched the previous video that I made which talks exactly about this particular topic, you might be wondering on why am I talking and making a tutorial about this again. Well, I realized that the previous tutorial that I made which talks about exactly as what we're going to talk about right now is that I realized that a 10 minute video for a tutorial specifically about the built-in world edit is a little bit excessive considering on how easy it is to do. But anyways, I'm not gonna make this intro any longer, so let's begin with the tutorial. Alright, so to do this, the first thing you wanna do is open the chat box. This can be done by pressing T if you have the default setting, and then press the slash key on your keyboard. Or you can also just directly press the forward slash key directly, whatever you want, it's up to you. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna point your crosshair into the block where you want the first position to be. Open the chat box and then press the top key twice with spaces in between and then click enter. Now this error feedback right here will show but just ignore that for now. What's important is that the first command that we've typed in is saved on the chat history. And then after that, go and point your crosshair into another block which is gonna be your second position. Open your chat box and press the up arrow key on your keyboard to bring up the previous command that we've typed in and then just press the type twice with spaces in between and then after that go ahead and type in the block of your choice for this example i'm gonna use tnt so i'm just gonna type tnt and then press the tab key so it will auto complete the query for you then press enter and there you go now you've filled this entire region with tnt now since we're using java edition what about bedrock or how do we do this in bedrock also and it's just the same but there's a little bit of a difference when typing in the query. So we're just going to switch to bedrock edition and as I've said, point your crosshair to a block which will be your first position, open the chat and then type in slash, space and then for this one, instead of just pressing the top once to get the coordinates of that block, we need to press it twice because that is just how things work in bedrock edition. So do tab twice, then space, then tab twice, then space, then tab twice. There you go, and now press enter, ignore the error feedback, point your crosshair to another block which will be your second position, open the chat box, press the up arrow key to bring up the chat history, and then type in the coordinates of that block, then type in the block of your choice. So there we go, and now you fill this entire region with TNT. And that's it. Now before I conclude, one thing I want to remind everyone who's gonna be using this is be sure of the choices that you're gonna make because unlike the world edit plugin for Java or the world edit mod for Bedrock, there's no undo option in this particular feature so think ahead before you make a decision. Also for all of the mobile users watching that doesn't have a keyboard, you can download a keyboard app on the Play Store or the App Store that has a tab key. And yeah, that's actually gonna do it for this video, I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and share this with your friends so they'll know about this too. And also, while you're at it, make sure to also subscribe to the channel, it would really mean a lot. And yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching, and I will see you again next time for another awesome video. Stay safe and stay awesome.